back to Woodruff Woods. Today, we're at my neighbor's house. His name's Bump. He's gonna show us the wood processor that he has that's called the Chomper. It's a really interesting machine because it doesn't use a, saw, a chainsaw to cut the wood. It actually uses a guillotine. So Bump is going to take us around the machine here, show us a little bit how it works before he gets it started, and then we'll actually see it in operation. All right. One of the first steps you do is it's, it's got a, a nice really uh, winch on it, and you pull the winch out. Pull the winch out. Eight, ten feet in, whatever, whatever you can. Pull that around there and just hook it on there. And then what you do is what that does is come out. These things move up and down, and you got a whole bunch of uh, controls over here. Uh, all these levers maneuver make everything work. There's a switch here for the big hydraulic hundred ton cylinder and it's got the guillotine on it and the log comes in here it's self-fed and it goes through a four four-way splitter and the four-way splitter will split it now there's a missing hydraulic here but uh it works just fine um and if the logs are too big you can bring them right out and put them through and re-split them so what kind of wood are we going to be uh, splitting here today? We're going to be splitting uh, cherry. The log is a cherry wood, black cherry. Uh, I don't know, it's probably almost a foot in diameter. This machine will take a uh, 14 inch in diameter. Uh, I trimmed it up today so it's semi straight. So I got all the branches off of it. And it's going to go right up into there, and it's going to feed itself, and you'll be amazed. <laughs> All right, well, let's get it started.
So uh, we're back here. We got the machine shut off. Um, so how, how much wood will this process in an hour? Uh, about a quarter of an hour if you got everything all lined up and you got a conveyor to help you get the wood out of the out of the way or another helper to stack it. Uh, other than that, I mean, it, it's pretty damn quick. I mean, yeah. you know, you got to saw you cut the tree down and cut the branches off it and it feeds it right up to you could have nice big logs and bing bang boom <laughs> so you said that there was a hydraulic cylinder missing and i yeah. can see where it mounts here yeah. i assume that that was just to adjust your wedge up and down right when yeah. you have a bigger when you have a bigger diameter tree uh you need to lift that up to you want the center of the tree try to hit the pith of the log and, yeah yeah and then the back things back there they maneuver so that you try to straighten the log out because you want the so log. You're, you're talking about these things back here yeah these things so, here. so these are on those hydraulic cylinders yeah. back in there and they will and they will actually move the log to the center of your v yeah so that's where you want where that where that blade comes down that's where the log needs to be to hit the center of that and and how how big of a diameter log can this uh, press through 14 inches in diameter 14 inches 14 inches and, and you were pretty close to that with this log yeah pretty yeah. close yeah and uh like i said it, it, it'll split through anything i mean it i've never seen a machine like this <laughs> it beats a saw yeah and it actually what happens is when you split it that way i don't know if you if you, you notice much but it cracks it cracks the wood it it literally cracks the wood so the fibers so when you stack it up rather than just sawing it 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 it, it literally uh cracks the wood and it dries out quicker huh. uh, and like you know see how bad it it it, it cracks the wood all yeah. up and when you stack it up if you were to saw this and put it in a regular log splitter, you don't get that effect. Right. This 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 effect is uh, like I said. You can see all the scrap and shit that comes off of it because that's all the all the splinter stuff. But uh, I mean it, it. I mean it really busts it apart. And and you can see there where see that that's going to dry a lot quicker. Yeah. You know that's going to dry a lot quicker. Then. Well, yeah, it's letting air in towards the center of the yeah, wood. I mean, yeah. look, look. I mean, look at this yep. piece. I mean, it's it, it's a, a big knot here, but it, it's it's Crushed. smashed up. Yeah, it's crushed. Yeah, and that's what makes it good because you you split wood up and it you know and good dead wood too, and and it'll, it'll dry. And you had said off camera this was leaning up against another tree. Yeah. You so, just pulled it up here today to yeah, process it. Yeah. And uh, it's the funniest smelling cherry I've ever ever uh, <laughs> noticed. Yeah, <laughs> think I mean, it might be black birch. I, I, yeah, I, I think I made a mistake because uh, that's not cherry. Well, in reality, people uh, sometimes refer to that as black cherry because it has very similar bark to cherry, especially yeah. a young cherry tree with these these little lines yeah. in the bark so and common but, mistake but it smells like uh winter green or chewing tobacco or something <laughs> out here so uh, it smells real good and this is run by a what 620 cc honda engine yep yeah v-twin engine um v -twin? it's gas i assume it's a gas engine yeah i don't know what the flow rate on that pump is or whatever yeah i was looking uh on here to see you can see um, it was made by Rainier Hydraulic Incorporated, and it looks like that's Rainier, Ohio. And I understand that they're out of business now. So, uh, I mean, when you have to repair it, do you just try to repair it yourself, or yep. yeah, I try to rebuild the hydraulics? So I'm actually waiting on a seal kit for this back here, and uh, because. It really helps. You don't have to take stuff back if you don't have to. Right, and you had showed us in the video how you can kind of sit something back in there and push and it through if you get a bigger round. Get a bigger one. Yep. And yeah, so you that know. that would be uh, that's still handy that you're able to do that. Yeah, and it, so. 
Good to adjust you want. When you get a big log, when you get a big log, like, I mean, I mean, uh, they could be 40 feet long, and for, as long as it's 14 di inches, 14 inches of diameter, it'll it'll run there and you split like crazy. Hmm. Yeah, kind of a neat neat machine. Um, I mean, a lot different than what they use today. <laughs> so. All right. Well, hey, thank you for showing us this. I'm sure uh, some of my subscribers will find this pretty interesting. <laughs> I hope so. <laughs> All right. Hey, thanks, Bump. We appreciate welcome, it. Man. So, hey, if you like this content, make sure that you uh, hit that like button and uh, I ask you to subscribe. Um, you know, we'll try to get some more of this, this type of content uh, as we move along. And, uh, again, thanks for watching. We'll catch you on the next one.